like at week 7 week 7.5 i finally think that the eq is finally seeming to kick in and i'm noticing just if i have an anterior pelvic, pelvic tilt or not i'm just moving my arms up there you see so it's much less of a pelvic tilt than if i actually separation or the width of my lats are just so crazy in this it's just so so crazy if you notice again it goes in and then pops out a, like a lot a lot more significantly than this one does this one pops out too but this one pops out a lot more significantly which means my lats which is what you can see here what's going on boys and girls week 7.5 update i believe it's week 7 to week 8 i'm not exactly sure what week this is but it's really important because this is the week where i've been texting everybody actually um where i think the eq is actually finally kicked in so i'm gonna give you like a short update on everything that's happening with respect to training and progress and and this entire 20 week bulk cycle um I'm not going to mention uh, all the life updates. I'm going to make a vlog about that today, about what's happening in life. But uh, in short, a bunch of different things have clean, uh, uh, been clarified. Uh, so uh, like a lot of stress in life has actually gone down. And I mentioned that because the more life stress that goes down, the better you're going to respond and just have lesser stress to deal with. So just have better results, right? Which I'm going to get into because I think these results are pretty impressive. Um, especially considering when you go from week there. Oh, I, uh, I've, I made an Instagram story about week 4.5 versus week 7.5. So hopefully you guys have seen that now. Um, but I'm still going to show you week one versus week seven in front of us right now. I have finished. I'm on a mini cut at this point in time. I couldn't update you at week five. I couldn't make a progress video on week five. Uh, I'm in the midst of a two week mini cut. Uh, the whole reason and or the point of the mini cut is simply more insulin sensitivity or resensitivity. Um, cutting a little bit of fat and water that you might have put on in the midst of this bulk, which I definitely did. Um, getting like better, uh, discipline and motivation for your diet. Like, and man, uh, I've gone from like a 3,500, which I should be eating, which I generally find hard to eat as an ectomorph down to 2,500, which I'm now supposed to be eating on a thousand calorie, uh, deficit per day, mini cut. And my hunger's back again. So it's going to make going back into the bulk actually so much more enjoyable at this point in time. <clears throat> so week six to week eight is a mini cut, uh, which I've finished week eight, uh, sorry, day eight or day nine of it already so far um yeah that's a thousand calorie mini cut diet done that part done right training is amazing there's i have zero complaints about training i've set up my training really, really well uh failure training is going really well drops are training is going really well uh the exercise selection is really good the way that i'm progressing is really good my periodization scheme is really good i have zero complaints about training you you must have seen the videos about training by now so far um the compounds that i've been using as we all know have has been 400 test 300 eq and var right 20 to 40 now at this point in time i'm at 40 var um 40 var you can definitely notice it for sure the whole reason why i even mentioned this is because now i finally finally think at week 7 week 7.5 i finally think that the eq is finally seeming to kick in uh because of the way that i'm feeling the the roundness the pumps the shoulders the delts so where do i feel like where do i feel literally in my body where do i feel like i'm really full and thick at this point in time arms uh both like biceps and triceps pecs are definitely getting thicker and deeper um i can never feel my lats or anything so i don't really know uh glutes are getting bigger and thicker quads hamstrings like like so clearly cleanly significant like noticeable it's it's insane so all of these things i'm going to show you pictures about the same as well so training's good diet's good uh, uh gear runs good everything else is good so again fingers crossed everything in life is really good let me show you what the uh, some of the progress pictures so if you can see some left and right um complete front relaxed uh is this one this is week one this is week 7.5 at this point in time um if i want to really quickly take a look legs seem way bigger uh quad sweep seems way bigger arms seem much 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 thicker i'm not gonna spend too much time in this because i made a really detailed one the last time so i'm really quickly going to glance over it and you can pause wherever you seem fit um this one 
I don't know if you can notice this or what, or maybe just like I should wear like similar kind of boxers next time. But um, I feel like my glutes have become bigger and they have to because every single day I'm doing glute stuff in order to fix my anterior pelvic tilt. Um, the other thing yeah, I think you might be able to notice is then once again, like the, the big protrusion that's out here is much lower, lesser in here. And my, arm, uh, my stomach is much flatter in here. If you look here uh, at my pecs, then there's a little bit more of a bump in my pec as well. So maybe my pecs have become a little bit bigger. Uh, and then arms just much thicker and this thing has gone back down uh, inside again the the stomach protrusion has gone down which means and i've noticed this actually i have this in the video as well i can try and play it afterwards All right. let me see if i can try and play it right now actually this thing right here so when i'm standing straight and I'm noticing just if I have an anterior pelvic tilt or not, I'm just moving my arms up. There you see, so it's much less of a pelvic tilt. And if I actually squeeze my abs and my glutes, then what you're supposed to do to fix the anterior pelvic tilt, then it goes down even, uh, then it becomes even better fixed. But this at this point in time is like completely relaxed, this thing, which again, just makes, makes it look so much better. Uh, which means the anterior pelvic tilt stretching and fixes are definitely working. So this is the other picture that I have. Let's go into this one uh quads looking way bigger quads here on the left hand side once again looking way way bigger i really don't know and or cannot tell much at this point in time from the upper body at this point and i, th I don't think the upper body pose this this week was uh, such a good one this one is really noticeable uh like look at just how big and thick my entire back the whole back basically just seems like and look at how much rounder my delts also seem to seem in this one um same thing uh, you can see an adductor here but you can see a much bigger adductor bump uh in this one like you can see and you can see a much so how do i put this 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 adductor cuts in and ties in really tight in this one but there's a much smaller angle here which means that i've put on some hamstrings alongside my my adductors as well um not sure if we can see anything else in this one uh, I just like to take this pose just to take this pose that just shows off my leanness. Uh, I don't have anything specific to kind of point out in this one, to be honest. Maybe the arms look a little bit thicker. Maybe a little bit of the delts look a little bit thicker here. I don't have anything specific in this specific pose. Um, this one, arms, much thicker. Uh, quads, again, maybe the the make of the boxers would actually help to look like uh, similar or something. But again, I just feel like legs are way bigger in this one at this point in time. Uh, leanness is still pretty much uh, similar and this one once again quads way bigger lean is similar arms way bigger and thicker in this one and there's one more thing that someone actually pointed out to me last time if you notice even from the front you can see my lats bigger in all the in the after pictures because i have a full day dedicated to nothing but pulling right so my lats are definitely getting bigger um in this uh in this training cycle if you notice again it goes in and then pops out a, like a lot a lot more significantly than this one does this one pops out too but this one pops out a lot more significantly which means my latch which is what you can see here this one again you can see the pop out but if you look again uh, closely from this one this pop seems to be a little bit bigger than that one but the right side like to our right side looking from here you can definitely see like a right pop for the lot much cleaner in that one uh, i didn't necessarily like this picture or anything I, I thought i could see something here but i don't know if i can uh, if anything i think uh, the arms and the delts seem a bit thicker in this one but i don't even know if the if both the pictures are exactly the same dimension ratios or not so i don't know about that this was the best one this is the one that i actually shared on my ig stories at this point in time week one versus week 7.5 and i also have a, in the ig stories i have week 7.5 versus week 4.5 the the separation or the width of my lats are just so crazy in this it's just so so crazy the calves they look so much better the quad sweep thing here looks so much better um not sure if you well I, I think actually you can kind of see adductors a little bit more here than you can see them here adductors seem to be a lot more here um you can see the separation between even though there's so much shadowing here you can still see a separation between my glutes and my hamstrings much cleaner and much better over here i'm not sure if you can see a better hamstring thing here but um yeah but this picture was like so clearly visible the progress is so clearly visible but yes that is an update that i have for week 7.5 hopefully you guys and girls enjoyed that one if you see something that i did not let me know if you um have any other questions about anything at this point in time, let me know as well. Besides that, if I can help you out, make your training program or something, hit me up. Help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Leave like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, there's a better camera that I have. I'm going to mention that in the vlog update, and I will update you all about that right there. Peace, and I shall see you all next time. And finally, 
if I can help you create a training program in order to gain muscle in the right places, or if I can help you set up a diet in order for you to lose fat more effectively and not muscle, if I can help you to understand what is a reverse diet and how essential it is for you and to set it up, if you're using SARMs or steroids or any PEDs and you need some advice on that, or if you're natural, but you have your blood test and you don't understand them and you need advice on and trying to understand them. Or finally, if you're just uh, trying to figure out life and basically your psychology and other psychology as well, feel free to reach out to me for advice. I can help you how to navigate life and to make sure that you have a much more fulfilling and happier life as well. Please do not feel uh, ashamed or afraid to reach out to me. My Instagram and my email are both on the screen in front of you right now. And then finally, if you can help me out in any way, it's basically if somebody really needs my help or advice or guidance, but they don't even know about me that I'm out here to help them out, please let them know of my existence. Besides that, I hope you all have a nice day and I shall see you all next time. Peace.